until now, I had never seen a James Bond film, and I thought that I would rectify that. So I put on Twitter asking where to start, because I'd heard that it was sometimes better to start with the more contemporary ones, basically Daniel Craig, or maybe one of the earlier ones. And there were three films that came up uh, again and again, Goldfinger, Casino Royale, and Dr. Nil. I was about to go with Casino Royale, but I decided to go with Dr. Nil and start at the beginning. And I have to say, I think I made the right choice. I quite enjoyed this film. So I'm discussing this from the perspective of somebody who has, as I said, never seen a James Bond film. I can't compare it to the others. My opinion may be different to a diehard James Bond fan, and maybe my opinion will change as I watch the others. Wow, that was an offensively loud noise. I apologise if you heard that lorry fan outside my window. I can't actually see it. What also is an offensively loud noise is the sound effects in this film and I will just say the sound effects are amazing. They are incredible. One thing I loved about this, the sound effects and the music, the soundtrack was incredible. But there were other things that I did also enjoy about it. So this was released in 1962, directed by Terence Young, starring of course Sean Connery as our James Bond. We also have Ursula Andress as Honey Ryder, Bernard Lee as M, Joseph Wiseman as Dr. No. And I'll read the description from IMDb. I'm not sure if it sums it up well, but I will discuss it, discuss around that in a moment. And this says, A resourceful British government agent seeks answers in a case involving the disappearance of a colleague and the disruption of the American space programme. Now, what I will say is that some of this narrative was not very clear. Well, that aspect of it with 007 trying to find out what on earth has happened, that, that made sense. But... Doctor No, when we're introduced to Doctor No, I, I'll say that Doctor Doctor I'm gonna say Doctor Who at some point. Doctor No's motivations for what he was doing, and I'm not going to say exactly what, I don't want to spoil too much of it. I went in knowing basically nothing and that worked well for me. But I will say that his motivations for his actions were not made clear. Yes, it is touched upon. But I had to do quite a bit of reading about the character after watching it to try and truly understand his motivations and why he was doing what he was doing. So I will say, as a critical point about the narrative, that bit was not made clear enough. But in general, I found the narrative to be quite easily easy to follow. I found the characters' relationships and the way they interacted with one another to be really good. I liked the fact that Bond couldn't trust anybody. I think a few times he was... a well, not he was a bit mistrusting, but I feel like one too many times we were made to think, can I trust this person? But for the most part, I kind of liked that aspect. There were people who I thought he could trust who he couldn't, but there were also people who I thought, no, you, you're not a good person, don't trust this person. They turned out to be perfectly fine and on Bond's side. So I liked that element of not knowing who to trust, who was involved, who could be confided in, and... For me, that's kind of the, the where my interest in the narrative lay. I wasn't too interested in Dr. No, again, because I didn't really understand the motivations, don't think it was explained very well. But the characters I found to be very interesting, pretty much all of the characters. I obviously need to explain Honey Rider's, or not explain, but discuss Honey Rider's famous entrance. Um, even though I hadn't seen this film, I was well aware of the scene when she emerges out of the water in a bikini and it's obviously one of the most iconic scenes from this film probably the most iconic scene and part of me was thinking am i going to watch this and find it anti-feminist find it degrading no i didn't really in fact she's quite she's quite a headstrong character she fends for herself she is quite courageous has to be when you uh, accidentally meet James Bond and end up um, having to follow him around. You know, you'd have to have a bit of guts and courage to do that. Um, but I really liked the character a lot more than I expected. As I said, the sound effects are brilliant. The, um... Yeah, the special effects as well are really great. There's a scene, um... I won't say too much, but there's a scene involving a car that flips over. And I was pretty impressed with how they did it. I from watching it, I believe they just flipped the car. I don't think there were any real special effects involved. I know a lot more contemporary films will sometimes um, utilise CGI in certain spaces to avoid actually destroying a car. But in this case, it looks like they just flipped it. 
Um, it's quite. It's a lot bloodier than I expected. I think the very first scene, there's bloodshed, um, or certainly the second scene, if not. But nothing um, too severe and certainly nothing that I couldn't handle. Dr. No, for me, as an introduction to James Bond, was very pleasing. I guess, in a way, it's like Doctor Who, where everybody has their James Bond. My doctor, my, my doctor is David Tennant, for what it's worth. I would not yet say that Sean Connery is my Bond. Usually people's Doctor Whos are the Doctor that they start watching with. I kind of assumed it would be the same vibe with Bond, but at the moment, I don't feel like Connery is my Bond. When I think of Bond, I still picture Daniel Craig, even though I haven't seen any of those Bond films. Maybe that will change. I can confirm that I will be watching um, From Russia With Love and probably the rest thereafter. Unless, you know, something awful happens and I suddenly um, have a tantrum and cannot stand the franchise. But if you are like me and you haven't seen James Bond before, I thoroughly recommend starting at the beginning with Doctor No. If you have a favourite James Bond film, let me know. For now, I'm very happy with Sean Connery as 007, very happy with Doctor No, pretty excited to see where this goes.